nice! My bed! Those are gonna be screwed down too. And also I'm going to make them a bit shorter. But apart from that, they work. I've been living in my 1979 Mercedes camper for two years now. I love that van, but it was itching me to do my own conversion. Alone and without any experience, I sold my old van and started with my very own van build. As you guys can see, I'm putting up the foot pieces um, underneath my mattress to build my bed. I'll just put them on there and screw them down to fix them. And that's it. That's the bed cladding thing done. I cut them down on both sides so that these straps here, these uh, cloth straps, still were attached to everything and it worked out quite nicely. I only attached the cladding pieces on the outer sides so that if you lay on it they can still shift around a little bit in the middle. That's awesome, now it actually looks like a bed. Good morning. Today we are going to work on some little details. Those will include some cover trim pieces for the edge that I'm sitting on right now, the back there, then up on the roof so um yeah let's let's jump into it i already cut and painted a couple of trim pieces one is here and there are more over on this table and now we're going to take one of them and try to install them in the van so the first little thing that i want to install is this board here and it's gonna go just in front of the bed so um, this is not only going to cover up this um, not very nice looking area here um, but it's also going to hold the mattress in place I'm going to use some angles for that but I think part of that should be, shouldn't be too tricky right let's get these angles installed So here there's another piece that I already cut to size here and so it should theoretically still fit in nicely. Yeah, looking good. I wanted to attach it with screws here in the wooden beam underneath this flooring. But I don't have the right screws anymore right now so I'll just leave it in here. <laughs> It's a good day to attach things if you don't have the right screws anymore. All right, mm, let's see what else we can do. So this foam thing used to be an old IKEA mattress. I got it from a friend. The, the cover fabric was completely destroyed, um, but I just stripped it off. And um, you have perfectly good foam underneath. Obviously it doesn't fit in my bed because my bed is only 1 meter 70, 1 meter 75 um, wide. So this mattress is obviously 2 meters long and uh, 1 meter 40 I think wide. Yeah. Um, so that fits in here quite nicely actually. Um, but obviously I have to trim, up, trim off the back and then also in these corners back there. But then um, it's getting a little bit more narrow when it's getting to the doors, so I also have to um, trim this down a little as well. I actually don't really know how I'm supposed to trim this mattress. I've seen people using hot wires and stuff, but I don't have that, so I think I'm going to just try to use scissors or a knife or whatever. Anyway, let's first um, make some measurements. So I moved the mattress inside and I already did the measurements of how long this mattress is going to be and I'm going to attempt to cut it with this insulation knife that you might have seen before if you watched my previous videos. I really like this knife so we'll see how well that works.
Okay, that actually worked quite nice. This knife, especially this front part, is so sharp. It's really great, I love this knife. <laughs> this part is a little bit loose, um, also on this side, but I think I'm just gonna leave it that way because I'm going to put some fabric around it anyway, so I think that'll just keep it in place. All right, awesome. Let's put this back into the van and then see how I have to chop off these um, corners a little bit more. So I don't know if you could see it on the video, but I just attached these pieces here on this side and also on that side all the way up there. So now the metal work doesn't show anymore and it looks really, really nice. I'm super happy about how it's turned out. It's still a cable sticking out because I want to add some more lights down there. But apart from that, this looks really nice. And then also I put up these wooden things here. Um, I quite like it on this side. It's not so nice on that side because there are a lot of gaps there. Um, but I think I'm going to put another piece, another wooden piece on top of these ones, um, just like they're here. And I, then I think it'll look really, really nice. All right, I think this is it for today. It's already dark out. Um, see you tomorrow.